Because nice the marshmallows fire up in Smithville right. class. I didn't even you think you cannot leave me. during a Brew Crew episode. This is going to be cut out. <laughs> I'm Bobby Thompson. I'm Anthony Marino. And we are the, the Brew, Brew Crew. Crew. Alright, today we have, for the first time in Brew Crew history, two special guests. A uh, first special guest here is Tim Godomsky for the second time. Welcome, hey, welcome, hey, Tim. Hey, welcome back, Tim. So today he's bringing another drink. Yes. From, <laughs> this is another drink from Greenport Harbor. Greenport Harbor. We don't know what it is yet, but our second special guest is first time on the Brew Crew is going to be Tyler George Klein. Hey, hey. It's not hey. Whatever. How's it going? Nice Tyler. to meet you. Welcome, Thank you, Tim. Welcome. Pretty Bobby. Good today. Are you sure. twenty-one? Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, 21. Yeah. Unfortunately. Right. All right. It's All a right. good time to be alive. So, so Tim, what, where's what the got? beer? What we got, Tim? Here it is. All right. So, we got a Russian stout from Greenport Harbor again. This one is called uh, Hammer and Sickle. Uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Which is also a vodka, by the way. Hammer and Sickle. Oh, uh, Hammer and Sickle uh, it is. Not today. I hope no, this is not today. Uh, yeah. We're doing beer only. No, uh, no vodka. It's a Russian stout. Yes, sir. Now, I understand this is a... Um, I mean, oh judging God. by this bottle here, you can see this is all black. So we're going to have to be skipping the bottle because this is a, I'm guessing this is some kind of special edition. Yes, and it's a limited edition uh, they had for only a, a short period of time down in Greenport. Uh, they only sold it in small package, 750 milliliters. Um, it's over $25 a bottle, so it's pretty uh, pretty limited edition. That's it. Really? Yeah. I'd say so. Okay, what is it, 750? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, 750 milliliters. And what, 25 bucks. Wow. Yes. That's ridiculous. A little steep, but it's limited edition, so... I thought it was worth it to bring it up to you guys. So. Wow, so this is a Russian stout. Can yes. you tell us a little something about what a Russian stout is exactly? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll talk about this one specifically. Uh, so down in Greenport, they uh, they age it for four years. So this was in the making for four years. Well, so, um, They didn't so, do it overnight, yeah. <laughs> so the beer was for, for four years. Yeah, so they, they keep this going for four years. They have uh, seven different varieties of malt in here, um, three different versions of hops, uh, Dark Belgian candy syrup, so they they put a lot of work into this for sure. That's. I, I guess enough? it's definitely worth the price. Or you yeah, yeah we'll, that's cool. we're gonna see today, aren't we? Yeah, so now, uh, <laughs> so that's good. I mean, obviously, boys, we're not gonna do um, obviously something on the bottle. Yeah, so we do we do have a plain bottle. That's what happens right. sometimes with the local breweries. They do a limited basic. editions. It's basic. Right. Stick so with the basic. Do you have any? Uh, <laughs> see anything on here you want to point out? Um. Well, if you look closely at the bottle, you'll see nothing. There you go. That's all I really got. Right on there. All right. So, from what I hear, this is uh, let's just go where we're gonna think this is. So, I, I mean, Russian stout. This is probably gonna be a heavy, heavy dark beer. Dark we've experienced yeah, stout right, right. Brew crew. You've got a, good, at least a third stout, third or fourth stout already. Yeah, yeah. it's I'm typically really chocolate, cool. right. Dark in color, kind of coffee taste, right. and caramel, caramel malts, different yeah, kinds of malts, sure. different roast. Yeah, right. yeah roasty. roasty coffee flavor. <laughs> right. So, so I mean, if you don't like coffee. You might not like this. Yeah, we'll, right. see. we'll see. We'll see how it tastes. Yeah, we'll see how it tastes. But, uh, yeah, it's got an ABV of 9.5. Yes, yeah, we're hitting a 9.5. 9. It's a heavy hitter. So, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. I guess it's cool. kind of, if you push this up a little more. Yeah, I mean, this is, wasn't able to check the IBU. There you go. How about the men? Stats right usually aren't two. There's three different kinds of hops in here. Three, three different kinds of hops. Yeah, there's three different hops. Yeah, so, I mean. I just think it's coming out. It looks like, almost like a, like a, like a dark medicine almost kind of very thick. <laughs> yeah. Like a like Coke. Coke. Coke syrup, right? Coke. How's the carbonation level on that bite? Mm. Are you uh, able to catch that? Yeah, it's pretty good. You can see on the sides there some bubbles. Oh, I, guys I just got that. a whiff. Bubbly motor oil. Oh, yeah, definitely yeah, a strong scent to it. I'm smelling that right now. Smell that, yeah. You know what's interesting about this, Ant? It's ant? A very, Don't very dark. The head. The, side. the head is a lot darker than what we yes. usually deal with. It's, a very, it's almost like a Coca-Cola kind of head. Yeah. If, I mean, if you guys can see this, it's like a kind of a golden roasted color. Very interesting. I don't mean to show the Beatles, but the Beatles. I don't even know if the Beatles. That's the, the Doors. Beatles. That's the Doors. Doors. Close. Doors. Yeah, we got the Doors, ACDC. Who do we got over here? Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. And, uh, United States Marines. Mm -hmm. uh, Fair enough. Yeah, so it's a, it's so. a really dark head. It's <laughs> yes, very dark. Never heard a head this dark, I don't think. No, I don't, I don't believe so. so. And again, like, when you look at the actual... You know, beer in there. It's, it's like, uh, it's like a coke. You can't even oh. see it through the other side. Yeah, it's it's coke. Seriously, perfect. You can see, it's a good shit. Can you see your face? That's like a coke. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look at that. Let's get the uh, smell test in there. I listen. It's very, very, yeah, very. Yeah, I'll tell you right now. You don't oh, have yeah. to come up close. To... You do not. 
Some caramel in there, maybe? I can yeah, definitely. Can caramel. Caramel is very, 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 very strong. Yes, yeah. Really caramel coffee awesome. smell. Yep. Jesus. That's caramel roast. That's yeah, like that, that's the first thing. I, I can almost not smell yeah. anything else other than that strong caramel smell right there. Yeah, very, very. It's like strong, a triple yeah. double shot of Starbucks. Like, <laughs> Hey, don't compare, you, don't compare, don't compare, hype, you know, no, no, no Starbucks. <laughs> hype, drunk. <laughs> By smelling this, I can pretty much kind of guess what this is going to taste like. Yeah, it's, very, it's definitely one of those. It's going to be a little bit bitter. You've been wrong about that very, before. Very though. thick. Uh, yeah. Uh, watermelon. I, I, mean, I feel like it's going to be like, like a bittery kind of like coffee taste, but like, yeah. I feel like, I mean, because this is such a special edition, I feel like it's going to be a quality stout. Definitely, definitely. You're not paying $25 for four years of uh, brewing. I hope not. Nothing. <laughs> I hope not, at least. Yeah. All right, so what are we doing? So, um, real quick, that is just overbearing. Like if I, <laughs> it's good though. It's the strong smell. Yeah, not in a bad I, way. The smell. I definitely like the smell. It's if I could like translate <clears throat> smells to our viewers, that would definitely be a possibility. I'd just be like, take this caramel. and smell this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Almost a little caramel butterscotch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. butterscotch. I smell butterscotch a little bit too. It's, it definitely gets in there with that strong smell. I think. So, yeah. you would say this is going to be. You can imagine what this is gonna taste like, right? It's gonna be that bitter, yeah, yeah, kinda, really bitter, accurate, kinda, this yeah, coffee kind of taste. Ty, what do you, what do you think about girls? I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking of graham crackers. I don't graham, know why. Graham, but, uh, that's probably the color. color. I don't know. I, I think. The, I, yeah, I don't know. That's why it's a graham cracker color. Hey, Klein, Klein, this is your first out, out, right? Yeah, first out. Yeah. First out, real, really. I'm, a, I'm kind of excited, even though right. it smells terrible. I, so, to me, you tried this No, actually, yeah. So, I bought the bottle right to you guys. I did not even open. Never flavored. Oh, thank you. What do you right up here? So what do you think this is gonna taste like? I'm 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 along with you guys. I'm yeah, getting a strong count. caramel smell, so I'm get, I'm thinking caramel. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a dark roast. Uh, we're gonna find out. Any yeah. chocolate? Ah, uh, a little, little bit of chocolate. Yeah, it's it's possible. I, I feel like even if there is, I feel like the roast and the Some pizza. <laughs> I feel like the roast and the caramel may overpower it, even if there is the chocolate flavors. But we're gonna find out. Yeah, Tim, you have experience with this. Um, that dark chocolate that we had the fortunate opportunity of tasting a couple of years oh. ago. The cooking chocolate. Yes. That was a 99 point... Nine, 98, I think it was 98% That's chocolate. what this smells like. It does, yeah. So <laughs> if you if you baking chocolate, yeah, it's dark, complete dark chocolate. Very it's bitter. 98% cocoa or something like that. Very bitter. That yeah, is. you do get a little bit... Cocoa. A little, bit of that <laughs> a little too much Yeah, cocoa. I didn't even think about that. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Let's hope that it doesn't taste like that because I've had that too before. It's <laughs> nothing fun. All right, so let's go uh, and let's, see. Yeah. let's just hop right into the taste here. Yeah, Enough talking. Let's try this Four out. Four years of yeah. flavor. Here we That's, go, guys. Here you go, guys. So rock Welcome bands, to the crew. Rock bands and the Marines. Crew. And yes. the Marines. Wow. Exactly how it smells. Oh, wow. That's really good. But. I'm just going to finish it. Huh? Very raw. <laughs> A lot more chocolatey than I thought it would be. Very chocolatey. I agree. The mouthfeel and the aftertaste is phenomenal. That was a it's roasted a lot, chestnut. Yeah, yeah, it's a great aftertaste, I, though, I must say. Chestnuts by the open fire. By the open fire. <laughs> the s'mores. This is an exploding right flavor. A lot of flavor. It's a lot. Yeah. It's, I'll a tell lot. you what. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting. Lighter? lighter? Yeah. I was expecting it to be a much more darker, right? heavier. Yeah. yeah heavier. A darker, he, much heavier yeah. Yeah, drink. I mean, but it really does go down clean. I mean, yeah, I, very smooth, very I assume smooth. it'll really fill up your stomach quickly, but if it's very smooth, very clean. You know... What I'm getting is uh, a very chocolatey coffee kind of like a mocha, yep. yeah, mocha latte frappe mocha. Definitely because this is oh, what? it's <laughs> a lot, it's it's a lot of chocolate. It's a lot of yeah. coffee flavor. It's really you don't really. I didn't, strong I didn't personally smell the chocolate at first. Oh no, yeah, no, the caramel it's until kind of Bobby pointed it. out the the cocoa that we that we had had the pleasure of enjoying years ago. Right. <laughs> it's but it's, it's definitely, definitely it's definitely there. I mean, this is the flavor. It's definitely. Taste. Uh, Honestly, gentlemen, what caught me off guard is the carbonation level. I thought it'd be more of a sip, uh, you know, it's like a syrupy kind of taste, but the carbonation yeah. you can taste the, the the bubbles. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, would even know? say it's more. more I thought was thinking more of like a soda or something like more carbonation, but it just it goes down like very smoothly. You know? Yeah. So you're thinking even more carbonation? Yeah, I was expecting it to be like very like oh, more carbonation. Oh, yeah, 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 more because of the carb when you first like poured it right. out, but it just yeah, goes down like so smoothly, like, it does. like cough syrup or something, it does. or yeah. syrup. It's it's definitely and dark belly. Yeah. I don't drink cough syrup. It's definitely like a, like a syrupy kind of feel to it too a little bit. It definitely does. And you know something we flavor. forgot to mention to our viewers. This is limited edition, meaning that uh, from online they said they're never making this again. Right. So, I, yeah, I, I imagine I, they when would I was eventually. there. Yeah, when I was there, and I was you never know though. I saw it up on the board. They didn't even have an official plaque for it. They just had it up there, a nice big piece of paper, all the ingredients and everything. And I asked them personally about it. So 
I said I asked. Well, it says limited edition. Will you guys make it years from now, even if it does well? And they said we don't know, but more than likely this is it. Right. So um, so this is uh, this is limited. Edition, this is definitely right? a special. special um, drink. So we can't even say you know go and get it because right now it's not being, it's <laughs> yeah. not being produced. Time machines go back a couple months back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get on the time machine. Is Greenport. Uh, yeah, Greenport Harbor. You're still Greenport Brewery. Let's, let's get into the ratings. Bobby, Before we do that, I want to do the pairing real quick. Oh, oh okay. what it would be good. Right. Yeah, what it be what. So on our guide uh, that we use, there's no Russian stout, so I'm going to compare what the closest country is, and what, that's Ireland. So an Irish stout. Um, oh, that being said, the cheddar uh, used for this, it would be an Irish cheddar. Um, in addition, I don't know if you guys would ever guess this, but for seafood, it'd be oysters. No. Do you guys see oysters going well with this? I don't know. Never had an oyster, I but I just I don't feel like seafood. Yeah, I I, I don't, don't think I'd or want this with the chocolate. seafood. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'd pair this with any seafood, type of seafood. Not, yeah, I don't think, I, 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 not. I don't think so. Personally, I don't know how an Irish stout tastes, so I can't see, even... For me, I honestly don't think I can eat anything with this. It's such a strong... Kind of taste. Really? Yeah, I, I'm not sure I would have yeah. this with my dinner. I might have yeah. it with a dessert, but Maybe I don't think I would with Yeah, dessert. Dinner. Yeah, I mean, not like a big entree. Like right. dessert, I would have like after dinner. Yeah. Maybe a dessert. So what are you guys uh, thinking yeah. for dessert? What Definitely. would be a good dessert? I think a nice chocolate cake. I need like a Hershey's chocolate, chocolate bar or like some graham crackers still. I don't know why. Oh, that, s'mores. S'mores? Imagine having yeah, s'mores, s'mores with this. S'mores you know, and that would be really good. by the campfire. You ate it for some reason. Okay, so where we left off is we're going to rate it now. Yes. So with you, Bobby. No, I'll start with you. Start with me. Yeah. Actually, hey, we'll yeah, start yeah. with our guests. Yeah, start with the guests. You don't know. Tim, please. No, no, no. First time Honestly, Tyler, you First time. I'll give him another sip and then I'll see how I think about it. Mr. Clyde. Is, is, is that a 10? Out of 10? All right. They got ratings about a 10. I don't know. For what it's worth, uh, probably an 8. Uh, it's, well, it's a good, it's a good. I, I, I would pair this with a dessert. I, I like it, actually. Surprisingly. Yeah, and this is, uh, dessert is obviously something you not going to drink for like a night of drinking. Like, yeah, no, so like just casual drinking probably, by the fire. Right, one know? cup is probably yeah, yeah. yeah. this Or by a campfire. By a campfire at Smithville Flats. I would, yeah. I would, I would, yeah, I'm along those lines. I say with this, if, if you were asking me about dinner time or asking me about any any random time of the day, I, I'd give it a lower score, somewhere in the 6, 5 range. But if you're asking me, let's go have a bonfire, let's get some s'mores going, let's put some food out on the fire... That's definitely an eight, maybe eight, even maybe higher. But I would say definitely an eight in the light place, right by the campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Double eights. Yeah, double, double eights. eights. Definitely right by the campfire, eight. And now for me, again, I've said it before that I'm not really the biggest fan of stouts, and previous stouts that we've had have been kind of mild on taste for the most part. Mm -hmm. You would agree, and this thing is a very strong taste, and um, really for the most part, personally. I don't, it's a little bit too much for the taste. That's because I'm not really a fan of stouts. So, you know. But I mean, it's not, it's not like it, it's definitely a very, very strong taste. Like if you're, if you like stouts, this is probably a great, great beer. So I'm going to, I'm going to follow suit with an eight. Because I mean, again, it's a very, very yeah. strong well, taste. But, but, but personally, like it, if you're not a fan of stouts, you're, you might not like this one, but it's very, very powerful. Yeah, there's that, definitely that a multitude of flavors. Not, so, yeah. Personally, I didn't love it, but I mean, it's definitely... So, so what about, what about what do you think, someone who doesn't like stouts, what, what would that rating be? So, right, so if you don't like stouts, it's probably going to be a five. Because it's yeah. worth a try, but I mean... It's a very distinct flavor. It's it's a very strong flavor. Yeah. And if you, I mean, for me, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't love stouts, and this is that really chocolatey coffee taste. And if you like it, this is a great, great beer. But, um... Yeah. I don't love it, but again, I, I, I can taste it. It's a quality beer. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely a quality beer. Four years, but, yeah, definitely. But I, Four years I, I, I'm just not a huge fan. So I'm gonna go. So I'll go with a seven. Let's okay. say, I'll go to seven. Okay, you, Mr. Thompson. Um, stouts, stouts are like, personally one of my favorites. I like stouts. Um, this has to be one of the most powerful mouthfeels that I've ever felt in my life um, from a stout. It has just an overwhelming, uh, in a good way. It's kind of like a chestnut, like roast by the yeah, fire in the definitely. winter in December. You know, holiday, family's over. This is definitely Hanukkah something Christmas. to get. Hanukkah, Christmas, I'm sorry. Hanukkah, it's Christmas, hot. chestnuts by the roast of the fire. But <laughs> it's limited edition. So if you know a buddy who has this, go with them on Christmas Eve. And, you know, enjoy it with them. Because this is limited edition. Um, 
Dude, like I said, the mouth feel is overwhelming. It's it's just it's phenomenal. I never felt such a powerful feeling. Oh, it's definitely a very, very definitely. big taste. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it, it's it not, tastes it. You can taste, I mean, seven varieties of malt, three different hops. It's not just you feel one one flavor, that's it the whole time. You definitely, you can tell there's a variety in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely a, definitely a quality beer. Yeah, it's that very beer. said, I'm going to rate it a nine out of ten. Style, four, four years in the right? making, all gone. Essence is all gone. <laughs> hopefully, it, hopefully. It, they make it again. Yeah, 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 that'd be maybe they'll really bring cool. it back. I'm maybe sure maybe with some, with a drink yeah. like this, I'm sure it got very high ratings, and I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed it. So maybe it'll come back one day. Yeah, I don't know. It's four years. Four maybe years from four now. years from now. Yeah, maybe they'll start brewing it now, and then you know, never know. Never they'll know. come yeah, back yeah. and make another brew. Twenty twenty, Russian style. Yeah. It's there definitely it unique. So maybe let's try it if you like stouts. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This is episode thirteen. This is Hammer and Sickle Russian Stout Greenport Brewery.